Yeah, just speaking after the game here at Pride Park, it doesn't feel like the scoreline's told the whole story of the game. No, we've had a few games like that, unfortunately. Um, we need to be a little bit more clinical with our chances. I felt we had some decent opportunities today against a very athletic, quick team in Derby. Um, in fact, two or three of their goals, they caught us on the transition, on the break, where we had attacked, didn't quite get the ball in the net, or they uh, tackled us, and, and they had some real good pace and power on, uh, on that transition. And uh, it took us half time, we asked them to, if you're not gonna be as quick as them, you have to think quicker. And to be fair, I thought we defended a little bit better from the one over the top that was putting people in. Um, so it's an experience for our young lads. Not many of them have played at that level before. Some have, of course, but half of them haven't. So I'm hoping that when we get to the, you know, the Barnet game, etc., then um, and we put then the, these lads will always put in the effort, but sometimes the um, their game doesn't always come out. They've all got strengths. Um, but they've also got weaknesses because that's why they're at this level and we have to keep poking them and pushing them and cajoling them to, to bring out their best game. And when they all bring out their best game, we, we get good results. Um, but it is a step further with, with this group, I think. I know it doesn't seem like that, but if they had any grandeur about being first division players, then they know they've still got to work, do a little bit of work. I thought. Two or three of them did very well, did very well, um, and others didn't quite reach their potential today in this type of game. It was obviously a very difficult start to the game with the own goal because your team had actually been on the front foot up yeah. until that point, yeah. but it didn't seem to curb your team's enthusiasm to attack. No, um, I, I did say we wanted to make sure that we was the uh, the second team in this game, as it were, and you know both. T we, we didn't want it to be a one-sided game. So we, of course, when that happens, you do leave yourself open every now and again, which is what what happened. But we also had the opportunity to score a couple of goals before they got theirs, and that was only seven minutes or whatever, six minutes into the game. Um, it was unfortunate. All own goals are unfortunate, and it was probably our most experienced player. <laughs> um, and you know, he, he was obviously disappointed. But um, you know, we'll we'll wait and see now. We're I can't wait till the next game now. You know, I now want that next game to come. These will have a nice rest. The, the, the club has done, done us proud. They're putting us up overnight so we can, have a, um, we can have a recovery session in the hotel. We can have a recovery swim, not a, not a social swim, a recovery one. Um, and, you know, we, we, we can just have a chat, have the day off tomorrow while we're travelling home. And then Thursday we'll, we'll be back on it, ready for uh, the Barnet game. Not too many observers would have expected you to have taken Derby's two games. Will you still look back on this with a, with a lot of pride? Yes, yeah, definitely. Um, I think in time the players will as well, because uh, uh, you know our cup final was the home Derby game. You know when we came back from two 0 down, and uh, and um, when you put out your highlights, I think. You know, there'll be quite a few people would be surprised how many opportunities that we actually had and how much sort of decent play we had now. But they're at that level for a reason and, uh, and they were very, very, very cl uh, clinical, that's for sure. And uh, when, when uh, they wasn't clinical, we helped them out, especially with the first goal. <laughs>